Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro de Crypto here and welcome to another video. In today's episode we of course have to analyze the Bitcoin price because we have here a short term breakdown from this ascending triangle. So the 4 hour time frame is currently breaking out to the downside. We have to analyze that because I'm still extremely bullish and I think that even though we broke out to the downside here nothing to worry at least for now. Then of course we're going to have a look into Ethereum and also into the traditional markets we are going to have a look where we most likely are going to open up today. So we have a new trading week. Today is Monday. Remember to check out all the exchanges that I'm also using. You find them all in the video description, especially the one to Bitru. So if you want to trade cryptos, if you want to buy cryptos with your fiat, then definitely use Bitru because currently here you get the best bonus. If you use my sign up link, you can get up to $3,000 as a bonus. So that's why go and grab it. And now, my friends, let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. Because here in the four hour time frame, you can see that we had here this clear ascending triangle, in theory, a bullish pattern. But as you can see now, we broke out to the downside. We came right to the main support that we have in the daily time frame, right here at around $26,500. And at least for now, we bounced from it. And we are testing now this new resistance at around $26,920. If Bitcoin is having again four hour closes above this price level i'm pretty confident that here we will return into this ascending triangle and most likely break out to the upside of course on the way to the upside we have here this resistance the 200 moving average currently at around twenty eight thousand dollars but if we can reclimb back above this support which is of course now new resistance in theory then i will start to be extremely bullish and the reason here in the four hour time frame is because if we have a look into my indicators we are now in oversold condition we are about to get the buy signal and although you can see that money flow is nicely increasing here so this curvature that we're seeing here in money flow is extremely bullish and in my opinion this is just a bullish reset that's why I think that very very soon once we have again four hour closes back above this price level that we are back in our potential upside um, trend here and also break out here above the main resistance that we have in the four hour at around $27,500. So even though we had this breakdown here I still expect in the four hour time frame very very soon to recover back into this ascending triangle and finally break out also to the upside. So yes I think that this what this a breakout to the downside is my opinion a fake out and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are still perfectly on track with the 100 daily moving average as a support so far no daily closes below as long as we don't have daily closes below the 100 daily moving average we should in theory still expect here a big bounce and of course attack over time at the median line of the Kelton's channels first right at the uh, resistance here of this ascending triangle at $27,430 and over time of course also the top of the Kelton's channels currently at $28,900 which is also matching with the main resistance that we have here in the daily time frame it's even slightly lower down here at around $28,800 so this resistance is still here the top of the Kelton channels is now approaching here and since we are in such oversold condition and in the so in the short term like the four hour I'm expecting a bounce uh, in my opinion once we are trending here above this resistance $27,450 I think that we are coming also up to test $28,800 and until we don't see here a breakout to the downside or above the resistance a breakout to the upside we most likely gonna remain within this pattern until we break out to the upside or to the downside so that's why in my opinion right now this is the trading range also, if you are, for example, using trading bots, which you also find here in the video description, uh, then of course you can set up the grids in this uh, in this area. So the trading bot will trade for you within uh, this range between support and resistance. Um, but if you're trading yourself, then of course you can put in some um, uh, uh, trades uh, manually. Currently, I have uh, the freshest uh, long opened at 29k. I DCA again at 28,000 dollars and. Uh, I'm starting to think about to, to maybe uh, already now put even more into that trade because I think that the next bounce could be a very strong one. And uh, in my opinion, everything is going to be depending what also the US dollar index is going to do. Because here, as you can see, we most likely are in here for a massive uh, pullback. Here you can see 
that we are in overbought condition and all the indicators are looking like that we are about uh, to come down and once the US dollar index here is coming down to at least test the 20 daily moving average or even the bottom of the Kelton channels down here I think that this will lead into further downside pressure for the US dollar index and of course also um, this will be in favor for the crypto market because remember we are usually inverse correlated um, uh, the crypto market to the US dollar index and I told you that this reaction rally for the US dollar index in my opinion has just some legs towards the 20 weekly moving average or the median line of the Kelton channels only if we would see weekly closes above then yes we could attack eventually here even the top of the Kelton channels but we are in a clear downtrend here and I'm expecting that after this reaction rally that we will head way way lower and take out the lows that we created here and that will lead into a massive run-up in the crypto and stock market over on nasdaq you can see that we are still pumping we are extremely bullish here and as long as nasdaq is pushing so hard to the upside yes also here we are in overbought condition and also here a pullback can be incoming at any time but look at this money flow we have positive money flow it is increasing everything is pointed out that we will see big moves to the upside and that's why i'm also so bullish for the month of may and also june for or Bitcoin even though we are still going sideways it's boring and we are correcting but everything is pointed out that we will head way way higher in the not so distant future probably just a, a trigger or a catalyst is needed and then we will head higher also here Nasdaq is closing daily candles above the top of the Kelton channels extremely bullish here we are facing some resistance at the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame but as you can see we always have weekly closes above the nine weekly moving average we don't even come down to test the median line or the 20 weekly moving average so everything is looking extremely bullish and over in the US dollar index you can see that in the daily time frame we also have negative money flow it's still negative and it is still decreasing so here in my opinion every sell signal should be taking as a huge short opportunity for the US dollar index and vice versa for Nasdaq and the crypto market every buy opportunity and buy signal that we're getting in my indicators especially with positive money flow should be taking as a good long entry here for Bitcoin we still have negative money flow but it's still not too serious in my opinion and once here we are starting to pump again I think that very very soon also here we are back in positive money flow and um, in order to resume the uptrend without um, without uh, considering more pullbacks we need to push at least in the daily closes within the daily time frame above $29,000 once we have daily closes above the top of the Kelton channels currently at the $29,000 then I think that we will move on towards the next resistance area up here at the next Fibonacci retracement at around 33k there we also have the 100 weekly moving average remember that Nasdaq had here already a weekly close way above the 100 weekly moving average while Bitcoin is still below that's why I think that currently uh, Bitcoin is still leading um, behind uh, lagging behind not leading Nasdaq is leading the crypto market Bitcoin is lagging behind and that very very soon we are going to get a strong bounce here from the 200 weekly moving average which currently is here right at the main support of the daily time frame at around $26,300 and you can see that also the 20 weekly moving average is about to cross above the mini line of the Kelton channels so we have it currently at $25,700 so Bitcoin should never ever during this uptrend close weekly candles below the 20 weekly moving average otherwise this uptrend is over but until then we are in a clear uptrend and we should be extremely bullish here for Bitcoin and expect continuation to the upside the um, uh, for, for Ethereum of course the same story as well here here we are also forming this potential falling wedge we have here a clear support trend line currently at the 100 daily moving average at around $1,780. Also here you can see that we bounce from it and the resistance is currently right here at $1,888. Once Ethereum is having daily closes above, then I think that also here we are coming up to test again the main resistance at $2,160. This is coming from the weekly time frame here. We have these two touch points and of course if we see another run up here we're going to face resistance and once we have daily and weekly closes above then of course also here I think that we are off to the races and we should expect prices uh, towards uh, $3,000 for Ethereum 
So as you can see, I'm still extremely bullish. I think it's just a matter of time until here we're gonna resume um, and this uptrend and move on towards uh, 33 to $35,000. dollars and over time, of course, also higher. But uh, short term, of course, we still can uh, remain within this uh, pattern for a while. And even if we would somehow lose here the 100 daily moving average for Bitcoin, Ethereum and many other altcoins, we can even short term come down towards the 200 daily moving average. For the worst case for Bitcoin, it's at around $22,000. But um, I I think that we can avoid that and uh, it depends now where we're going to have the next four hour and daily closes for Bitcoin. This will decisive if uh, this will be decisive if we're going to see here a nice run up towards the resistance again and break out higher or if we're going to lose it and fall lower. And of course, we keep always an eye here into the USR index because once here we are uh, finish we are finishing with this uh, reaction rally and we are coming back down, then I think that we will see a massive run up in the crypto market and stock market of course, even though over on Nasdaq we are still Still rallying so here we are still perfectly on track and we are looking extremely bullish but uh, if the US dollar index continues to fall then of course the stock market especially Nasdaq will have a huge run-up in my opinion also towards the top of the Kelton channels same like over on Bitcoin and Ethereum for Ethereum $3,300 for Bitcoin $45,000 and for Nasdaq it's up here at $15,500 here the monthly time frame is looking so bullish we are above the 20 monthly moving average we are now back in an uptrend and uh, everything is pointed out that we will go to higher levels in the next coming weeks and months and that of course should be extremely extremely bullish also for the crypto market that's why i think that if short term we're getting some more pullbacks this is just short term noise but over the next coming weeks and months i think that also bitcoin will head way way higher all right, my friends, so that's it already with this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, if so, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to this channel. I do daily TA videos and uh, I will do later on also an update video on AI Doge. Remember that we bought uh, some AI Doge on the pre-sale and uh, I know I noticed something very, very uh, interesting, we can say maybe. So definitely watch the video that is coming up later. And uh, otherwise, uh, make sure to check out all the exchanges that I'm also using. I'm using Bybit, BitFi, BitTrue, Femex, and so on to trade Mexi Global, Fairdesk, uh, and so on. All exchanges without KYC. And of course, Bybit has now full KYC, but I'm also using K um, Bybit. Uh, I did the KYC, so everything remained the same for me. But otherwise, use BitTrue. Here you get a lot of bonuses uh, with only a deposit of $100 and a little bit of trading volume. So thank you very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.